Okay, so Magis Specters. I expect these uh, cards to be tier 1 sometime in the future because holy crap, are these cards, like the definition of just how the power creep is just gone, completely into the fun zone. <laughs> when all decks are overpowered, none of the decks are overpowered. So anyways, Magis Specters. All of them have like a ridiculous amount of good things going for them. All but one go plus one off of their normal or special summon. All of them are pendulum monsters, which means you can special summon them often from the extra deck. All of them cannot be targeted by or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And all of them, well, the plus one they allow to search out, um, allow you to bring out these spell and trap cards that their condition to activate them is just to tribute a Magic Spectre card, which means it goes to your extra deck, that way you can special summon on your next turn, and they all have really good effects. Like, Tempest allows you to basically, it's like a Black Horn of Heaven or a Chariot, depending on which one you pick. So you can either stop a special summon or stop a, a monster effect, which is great. All you do is tribute one of your Magic Spectres, which is fine because they all have pretty low attack, so uh, you just want them in your extra deck so you can Pendulum Summon on your next turn. Uh, Tornado allows you to banish one of your opponent's monsters. Uh, Cyclone, quick play spell card. You can destroy one of your opponent's monsters. And then Storm, you can send one monster your opponent controls to the deck. Since it's just a normal spell card. it's They all have ways of just destroying your opponent's monsters. They don't really target spell and trap cards. And there's not really enough of them to run it just like full on Magic Spectres. So I added in uh, the Magician's and Odd Eyes, because Odd Eyes can search out basically all of the Magic Spectres, except Unicorn. He can also search out uh, Dragon Pit Magician. The Magician cards, like, I think they were made for Magic Spectres because they work so ridiculously well with them, especially their search card, <laughs> Pendulum Call. All you do is discard a card. You can add two Magicians from your deck to your hand, uh, Dragon Vine Magician or, you know, both of these guys, that way you get uh, scales 1 through 8, so you can special summon all your Magic Spectre cards and even your Odd Eyes that were in your extra deck. Since none of the Magic Spectres have effects for their Pendulum effects, you're not locked into only running Magic Spectres in the deck, so they can actually be splashed in with other decks. I'm going to try them out with a few other things maybe, but they worked very well with Odd Eyes and Magician. I even put in Pleasant Dragon Magician in here, just because he can actually activate the requirements for the Magic Spectre spell and trap cards. Because all these require is a wind spellcaster type monster, which uh, Peasant Dragon Magician is. He works very well with the Magic Spectres because he's also a pendulum monster who doesn't lock you out of uh, other special summons when he's in the pendulum zone. And he also combos well with Magician and Odd Eyes, so <laughs> it's just... Yeah, it's almost like these cards were, were made for Magic Spectres because they work so ridiculously well together. This deck, so consistent, beat so many top tier decks with it when I was testing it out. I don't think I actually lost a duel just because the deck works out so well. The Magic Spectres, holy crap. The, their effects cannot be targeted by or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. I mean, really? <laughs> All of them have the effect? That's just insane. <laughs> so hilarious when your opponent tries to regeki you or something. Holy crap. I'm loving this archetype.